hey what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i will review the thinkercad software and in this video i will share my thought about this software and show you some step by step guide and how this software look and feel and i am using this software for past many years and i am using the software for teach others to the circuit because it's really great to understand the circuit and i think it's a great software for beginners and some of you asked me how may i make this kind of 3d looking circuit and real these all are looking real and easy to understand today in this video i'll show you that so without further let's get into it Okay, we are in the Thinkercad website. Uh, the URL is www.thinkercad.com. Link in the description. Uh, this one, uh, this one is the website. And first, let's go and log in. And there is some option. Uh, I am using my personal account. Uh, you can use your one. I am using Google. Mm. Choose your account. Okay, that's it. This one is my dashboard. And Thinkerpad is uh, using for two purpose uh, for 3D design and circuit and some coding and cool blocks also. Okay, I'm using for the circuit. That's it. Okay, uh, in uh, this is your dashboard. This is your account. You see my name. And uh, if you go designs, uh, click here and you will see your all your circuit here I have make 26 you see all my circuit here I have making this two years ago one year ago okay I'm using this for the Arduino tutorial and everything you see my all my project okay let's go and to make a new one in the right corner you see a new click here and circuit Uh, it will load uh, based on your internet speed so make patience because it's a 3d simulation software it will take time okay uh, this one is the workspace for circuit design and in the right side you see every component here and uh, there is a function here you see uh, this one is the category uh, you if you want to do arduino uh, these are arduino software and micro bit uh, these things and circuit assembly like thing i'm going for all you see there are some basic component uh, like register uh, switch and some photodiode and uh, sensor uh, many more and output device like led some motor uh, and some you see this is seven segment and battery cell and there are a potato battery and lemon battery also and that's that's kind of cute and great we do this in when we are kid and breadboard and some meter and many integrated circuit transistor you see some logical circuit you can practice the logic gate from this circuit uh, i think it's great uh, let's make a simple circuit here uh, let's find out where the led is and there is search bar uh, you can search led there is the led you have to just click mouse mouse click and drag it where you want to place i want to place it here okay and then take a battery where is it uh, battery you see nine volt battery let's take it and place it here uh, for the wiring you uh, you just have to connect it you just hover the pin here you see when i hover there is a positive and connect it here and uh, I, I am connecting this negative to 
here in the breadboard okay for coloring just click here and there you see there is a color and for the black for the negative i am going for black and for positive i am going for red and there are some option also you can do it here okay let's connect the and if you see in led in the right side when you hover it this is anode and there are some spiral here and when i am connecting it anode to positive and the cathode to this negative and uh, if you mistakenly take another wire click escape it will do it and make the cathode to black okay the connection is ready let's simulate it uh, in the right side you see there is a simulate button click here uh oh the led blown up because the uh, led need less voltage and less current we have give the 9 volt battery that's why led blown up so we need a resistor let's do it first you have to stop the simulation then find out the resistor uh, escape resistor yes take it and you see this one is vertical uh, to rotate it press r in keyboard pressing by pressing r i am making it done okay mm, yes okay make it delete uh, you see cannot you see cathode is connected to the resistor terminal one two and i am terminal one to negative and this one is uh, one kilo ohm you can change the ohm from here make it ohm i'm making it 330 okay you see the color code is changed let's start the simulation okay you see the led is working perfectly uh, if i make it 20 ohm you see the led blown up and if i make it 2000 ohm you see the led dimmed so you need perfect uh, you need perfect resistance for the circuit i am giving it 200 i think this one good and there is a warning show me here i think the led current is not recommended okay that's it uh, we make a simple circuit and go explore what you want and there are some arduino circuit also let's take a one uh, i am taking the blink one okay you see this uh, this is arduino circuit uh, uh, the led is connected to ground the cathode the anode is connected to a connect to the 13 port of this and there is a 220 ohm okay so how may you code this arduino there is a code option in the top right corner you see click here and the code block is come make it bigger okay you can program the arduino two way one is uh, this is code blocks and the another one is text continue you see the text mode okay let's understand the code block here this code block is great for beginners who are willing to start the programming and uh, for the kid i think it will help and uh, you see this program shows that uh, it will start the arduino and this is a loop forever loop and the led will high and it will wait one second and the led will low it will wait one second that means the led will high then it is off after one second it will off and after one second it will turn on automatically and this will when it is finished the it will go up and make it again and again this is a loop okay let's start the simulation you see one second off one second on one second off one second on and if you want to change it make it three second and off turn on for three second and turn off for uh, make it seven second <laughs> okay start let's see turn on for three second one two three of one two three four five six seven i think you should turn on okay turn on 
that's it uh, that's how you can edit the code and you can drag and drop any of this here go and see some tutorial for text click here click here the blocks and switch it to text you see the same circuit here same coding here and this one is using c plus plus code and uh, you see the digital right led high that means it will high for three second which one we do in the code blocks three second three three thousand milliampere means sorry millisecond is three second and seven thousand means seven second this will work same and that's it okay you can make it out here and there is a serial monitor if you want to monitor the things and give input okay that's it for the simulation part and if you want to uh, save it click in the upper side and rename it to i am making it rg researcher guy project 02 and click enter you see the this is saved in rg project 2 name and i am going to the home you see all, with all my circuit the rg project 2 is saved here and if you want to see this click here and you see the circuit and you can make simulate here and if you want to share this with your friend copy the link and give them the link they will find it here and there is a option here this is called change visibility to share and you can make it for public that and they will uh, everyone will find it find your circuit if you want to give tutorial to others uh, i think the community and it will help and in every circuit there is a great community also let's go find it out uh, in every circuit in dashboard in the upper side you will see there is a project menu click here and there is a circuit click here and you will find many circuit and project here everyone is here their circuit and you can share it also share from here uh, i think that's great and there is an option go to the thinker and circuit and this is the landing page for think uh, circuit and if you go down there is a call getting started guide and uh, if you uh, this is the tutorial step by step uh, let's uh, you see there is the lesson start the lesson one start simulating okay get started mm, it's opening okay you see the this one is saying that to what to do and click next okay and this one is telling me to start the simulation you see the simulation started led turn on okay let's click next okay congratulations uh, read it out and done continue okay this pro is for editing component uh, by this tutorial you learn how to edit the component uh, okay, click next and this one is saying that uh, first one is red second one is yellow and third one is green okay click the component make it red then yellow and green okay next next start simulation you see green yellow red okay that's it and uh, let's click done continue and okay the new video new tutorial is come out and just complete this tutorial from here i think it will help so what is my review about this software if you want my review if you want my feedback i will say this is a great software for beginners if you want to start the circuit you don't know you don't have the access to all the components i think this software will help because this software all the component on everything is close to real life thing and you can easily grab this thing you can easily thought yourself how this thing work and there are some many component like arduino arduino coding and everything and the best part is this is for free so that's a great deal go and start it out i am using this for many years if you like this video please make sure to subscribe and if you have any question if you want any types of video please 
comment and I will definitely check it out and make video for you. Goodbye. Tada.